Here's example one of using product to sum formulas to evaluate or uh, rewrite rather trig expressions. So um, here we have to uh, write the product as a sum or a difference, and the product is sine of four theta times the sine of two theta. So for the most part, problems like these really aren't that bad. Uh, sometimes you'll just have to um, be careful of your uh, plus and minus signs and watch out for even and odd identity type stuff. Uh, we'll see that in some later examples. But um, for the most part, they're really not too bad. Just uh, also make sure that we use the right formula. So sine of four theta times sine of two theta. Uh, if we go back to our formula sheet here, and if you want a copy of this, check the video description. There's a link in there uh, to get a copy of this. So sine of something times sine of something else. So that's going to be this first formula here. Sine alpha sine beta is one half cosine alpha minus beta minus cosine alpha plus beta. So that's the formula we're going to use. So uh, this here, let's use a different color. This 4 theta, that's going to be our alpha. This 2 theta, that's going to be our beta. Okay, so we're going to use that first formula uh, with 4 theta as our alpha and 2 theta as our beta. So this is uh, going to equal uh, 1 half, big bracket, cosine of alpha minus beta, so 4 theta minus 2 theta, okay, and then minus cosine of alpha plus beta, 4 theta plus 2 theta. Okay, so we're really just plugging numbers and things like that into the formula uh, from the formula sheet. So this is 1 half times cosine of 4 theta minus 2 theta is just 2 theta. And then we have uh, minus cosine of 6 theta. 4 theta plus 2 theta is 6 theta close bracket, and that's really pretty much it. So there's nothing else we can do to simplify beyond that. So uh, write the product as a sum or a difference. Here it is, it's the difference of these two cosines, and make sure we multiply everything by a half, because uh, that is part of the formula there. So there's really not much else happening here. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's example one of using product to sum formulas to, uh, in this case, rewrite um, a product of two trig functions as a sum or a difference of two other trig functions. And here's our answer.